Hello and welcome back to my channel, Rare Eddie One. I'm your host, Rare Eddie One, and this is Rare Eddie One of Film and TV. Uh, so on this channel, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mixture of two things, really: uh, conspiracies and um, film and TV reviews, film, and TV, and pop culture reviews. Um, at the minute, I don't think I put an app enough videos and content out for two channels. So um, it's going to be a mixture of, you know, a bit of conspiracies and UFOs, cryptids and aliens, you know, all that good stuff with a mix of film and TV and pop culture. Um, so you, you'll you'll know which which ones because I've got two two um, intros and outros, two different ones for each each, each type of um, content I put out. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, what I'm doing. Uh, if not, I'm I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. I'm I'm really enjoying this. Uh, so. So let's get at this. Uh, today I will be going over Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and this is about to come out. Um, it's about to come out uh, when? I'm not 100% sure when. <laughs> um, it's about to come out. Release date next week. The 31st of the 3rd, 2023, and it's starring Chris Prine, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, uh, Reggie Jean Page, um, Justice Smith, uh, Sophie Lillis, and I think Hugh Grant is is on there as well. Yep. Uh, yeah, that. So, you got your. Your five main actors, I guess you could say Michelle and Chris are, are the main, the main actors. Um, but I, I assume the five would be pretty much the the main, the main cast. Um, the trailer looks good. It's got a banging tune, a bang banging song, which you know you put that. You put that song in front of fucking Ted with some glitter on it. It's gonna be good. Yeah, you 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 show us a shiny looking Ted. You have that song in the background. It's gonna fucking. It's gonna be the best shiny Ted ever. Yeah, um, Led Zeppelin are just fucking. Yeah, pretty much fucking make your hair stand on end when you watch it, and that's. Yeah, but if you take that song away from it, it looks okay. It looks okay. The directors have come out in in a fluff piece saying they they like um, dismantling the the male. Uh, they like um, um, yeah, bringing the male character, cutting him down. Cooking him basically, making him more of more of a laughing stock rather than uh, more of a bit of a bitch, really. You know, uh, I think it's funny. Um, which, let's face it, in Hollywood, it's not brave. It's not stunning. It's it's the norm. That is the norm. You're not doing anything new, loves. You're not doing anything new. It's the norm. Um, they did. They either wrote the horrible bosses. I, I think they actually directed horrible bosses, which was a banging film. Um, I think they were directing duo. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think that's when you come out and, and you say that about the male leads or male actors that you like. Um, um, you like uh, cutting them down. You you like making them laughing stocks because you think it's funny. You like um, showing them they're weaker than women, which 
again, it's not new in Hollywood at the minute. It's the norm at the minute. It's the, uh, you know, it's the norm. Show me a show that, a uh, show or TV that hasn't done that. Um, that's not doing that in a minute. Because most of them are doing that. You, you get, you get good shows that are, are doing it. And, and still the, the main, um, the make the the male fucking character like is a fucking dickhead. Um, there's not many TV shows out there that can get away with it. Um, because Hollywood are, are fucking idiots. They uh, producers and the money men, which conspiracy uh, side of me is. Um, uh, there's a lot of shady people in Hollywood. A lot of shady people in Hollywood, but that's for another. Um, that's for me, other show. Um, but yeah, it looks okay. There's a there's a fat dragon in it. Graphically, it looks it looks stunning. Um, are we so. Chris Pine's character, it looks a bit of a Del Boy um, character in this. He, he looks like he's the guy who's, who they're going to be cutting down most most of all, and they're going to be making a laughing stock. But he also looks, there's a scene in the trailer, you've, you've seen it, where Michelle, who's badass, she's a badass. It's not like they put Natalie Portman in it. Uh, she is a badass. She could probably beat a lot of men up, um, including me. <laughs> she is a badass, and I love her in fa- uh, in the fast fast franchise and Resident Evil. She was badass in Resident Evil. Um, drinking game, badass. Take a shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's she's a badass. <laughs> Um, and you can see what he is he, is doing. It is like, yeah, you do all the hard work. Why well, I just yeah pretend I'm struggling to get out of these this this rope. Um, which knowing what the the wrote the directors wrote, um, a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope um, to this film. But I'm not going to hold my breath. I will review it properly. Um, I will review it when it comes out. Um, I will give my honest review. If I hate it, I hate it. If I like it, I like it. I did a review on Coke Enver and I, I really I enjoyed that. And there's a lot of people out there that didn't like it. I'm like, I'm like the, the guy that likes the shit. <laughs> I like Batman versus Superman. I like. Uh, Paul Blatt, <laughs> I liked, oh, what's his fucking, one of his fucking crappy films on, on Netflix, Adam Sandler is, is where the, the uh, producer guy, oh, I can't, Sandy, something like that, it's one of his latest cra- crappy ones on Netflix, I actually enjoyed it, on oh, Herbie, um, I really <laughs> enjoyed that, but I could I I see why it's a shit film. Um, but I enjoyed it, so I do like the crap. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to it, to you. I'm if I hate it, I hate it. Um, but there, there's a few things at the minute I just can't fucking stand. Uh, the MC the MCU at the minute is just fucking awful, awful. Um. It's just awful at the minute. Star Wars, awful at the minute. Star Trek, they're turning around. Are they going to get better? Hopefully. Um, but yeah, little glimmer of hope. Am I going to hold my breath? No. Um, should you hold your breath? No. Um, is there going to be a lot of badass moments in this film? Uh, hopefully, you know. It trailer it looks stunning, um, but you could say that about fucking Ant Man, where 
That's some of the worst CGI ever. Um, that's some of the greatest CGI ever as well, but the majority of the film is crap. Um, where, where the same, stu- well, not, not the same studios, but the parent company just did Avatar. And that looked fantastic. And it's not a bad film. Um, so, there's a little glimmer of hopes for Hollywood, yes. little glimmer of hopes for this film, yes. But again, I, I'll be honest when I, I watch it. Um, I will try and get a review out as soon as the film comes out um, for you beautiful people out there. Um, but that's it. Um, anyway, if if I had a Led Zeppelin song in this background, I'd probably have loads of people watching this film. Um, uh, film this uh, little uh, YouTube, TikTok, uh, Rumble video. I'd have loads of people watching it because it's fucking badass, and that's what they do. Let's put this song behind in the trailer. People get excited for it. Boom. You just got yourself a banger um, of a trailer. Doesn't mean the film's going to be fucking great, it, does it? It's, it? End of the day, it could be fucking shit. It could be absolutely shite. It could be the next fucking. I I was going to say Black Adam. It was. Uh... <laughs> Had a few good things in Black Island. I love The Rock. Um, Shazam, I quite like. The first Shazam. But, yeah. Well, it, let's hope it's not going to be the next Ant-Man. Please. But, anyway, that's uh, that's my v- little video. Um, I've been your host, Rare Eddie One. If you haven't enjoyed this, I do thank you for... Uh, continue, continuing to the end uh, and being patient with me. If you haven't liked, if you have liked this, please leave a like, a share, uh, a follow, a subscribe, and I am ready. One peace. <laughs>